Top 5 Bitcoin Heists Subscribe to the Bitcoin.com YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to never miss our top lists. Classic bank robberies are going out of style. As money becomes less physical and more digital, robberies are more likely to be pulled off by skilled hackers rather than armed men. Today, we are going to take a look at the top five Bitcoin heists and how they were pulled off. In this list, many of the heists were with a variety of cryptocurrencies, but we will be generalizing their value into Bitcoin. Number five, Bitcoinica hack for 100,000 Bitcoin. Bitcoinica was a popular Bitcoin exchange created by Chu Tong in 2011 when he was only 17 years old. Bitcoinica suffered from not just one, but three breaches in 2012. The first breach was in March, when the cloud hosting company, Linode, was compromised by hackers. While multiple Bitcoin businesses were affected for a total of 46,000 Bitcoins, the biggest hit was against Bitcoinica, which lost a total of 43,000 Bitcoins. Just after two months in May, 18,000 more Bitcoins were stolen in a very similar manner. The final loss happened in July, when an additional 40,000 Bitcoin went missing from the Bitcoinica reserves stored at Mt. Gox. A total of around 100,000 Bitcoins were stolen before Bitcoinica closed its doors the same year. No arrests were ever made from the heists. The circumstances around the hacks have led many to theorize that it may have all been an inside job. It was reported that at least some of the coins were returned from the Mt. Gox hack, but not before a few suspicious payments were made. Blockchain analysis shows that before the coins were returned, a payment of 80 bitcoins was sent to an address that was later discovered to belong to Thamos the lead moderator of the Bitcoin talk forums and the r slash Bitcoin subreddit. While there are many theories about what exactly happened, we may never know the truth about the Bitcoinica heist. It appears that whoever did it got away with it. Number 4. The 2016 Bitfinex hack for 120,000 Bitcoin. Recently, Bitfinex was all over the news. It is one of the largest cryptocurrency trading exchanges on the market. However, it has had its fair share of problems in the past. The biggest of which was a breach in August of 2016 when hackers found a vulnerability in a Bitfinex wallet and stole 120,000 Bitcoin, at the time worth $72 million. When the news hit of such a large hack, the price of Bitcoin dropped 15% within a few hours. Out of the 120,000 Bitcoin that were stolen, 27.7 Bitcoin were reportedly recovered by the US government, an amount equaling only 0.023% of the total stolen amount. The remaining 119,972.3 are still missing. But that isn't the end of this story. Because Bitfinex did not shut down like most exchanges have under this scenario, in order to cope with the 120,000 Bitcoin that were stolen, Bitfinex spread the loss between all holders on the platform, meaning that every user on the platform witnessed a loss of 36% of their holdings. In return for their loss, users were credited with an equal amount of BFX tokens, an IOU of sorts. These tokens could be exchanged for shares in Bitfinex's parent company, iFinex, or would be bought back by the exchange at a $1 to 1 ratio at a future time. By April 2017, Bitfinex had bought all of the remaining BFX tokens with Tether, allowing the users who had incurred losses to withdraw their Bitcoins. Till this day, no arrest has been made public for the Bitfinex hack. Number 3. Coincheck hack for 500 million NEM, equivalent of 50,000 Bitcoin. While there have been numerous Bitcoin hacks, the biggest cryptocurrency heist in dollar value occurred in January 2018. Hackers managed to steal half a billion NEM that had a comparative value of 50,000 Bitcoin, which at that time was worth a staggering 
$530 million. CoinCheck quickly held a high-profile conference where they confirmed how the hackers managed to pull off such a heist. It turned out that CoinCheck's security practices were far below standard practice, to say the least. All of the NEM tokens were held in a single hot wallet address. The address also did not have the multi-sig contract recommended by the developers. The industry standard is a mix of multiple hot wallets combined with offline cold storage for large amounts, which all require multiple key signatures from different trusted parties in order to move funds. Unfortunately, that lesson in standard security practices cost the company nearly half a billion dollars. Once the hackers gained access to the hot wallet, they sent tokens to 19 different addresses that further dispersed the funds. The NEM developer teams worked to track the stolen funds and tag the tokens with a message that identified the funds as stolen to debtor exchanges from accepting them. The hackers quickly worked around it. Two weeks after the hack, they created a simple automated exchange on the dark web that offered the stolen NEM for Bitcoin at a 15% discount. The website quickly gained popularity and exchanged over $100 million in coins. Along with the exchange, the hackers had figured out how to easily beat the tracking software. The tracking software took around two to three minutes to identify and tag a new address. By quickly making a trail of multiple transfers, the hackers were able to deposit funds and withdraw Bitcoin before the software could catch up and alert the exchange. Just a few months later, the hackers had managed to launder all of the stolen NEM, and the NEM developers shut down the tracking software. With such a huge loss, CoinCheck was forced to close its doors. It was then bought three months later by Monex Group, a Japanese online brokerage dealer. In late 2018, after a complete overhaul, they reopened its doors, stating that they plan on reimbursing all of the funds stolen in yen. To date, there has been no arrest, and it appears that the hackers got away with nearly half a billion dollars. Number 2. Bitcoin Savings and Trust 265,000 Bitcoin Bitcoin Savings and Trust was a classic Ponzi scheme operated by Trendon Shavers at his home in Texas. Trendon attracted Bitcoin investors by promising them an unbelievable 7% profit per week which would result in 365% in a year. Trendon claimed to make this profit with arbitrage trading, but in reality, he was paying out old investors with the incoming money from the new investors. That's how a Ponzi scheme works. From 2011 to 2012, Shavers, 33, raised at least 764,000 Bitcoin before disappearing in August 2012. Thankfully, in the end, investors managed to sue the company. When found guilty, the judge ordered Trendon Shavers to pay a fine of $40 million and was sentenced to 18 months in prison. The judge put the collective loss of the victims at 265,675 Bitcoin. In 2012, at the time of the fraud, the total Bitcoins taken equaled $4.5 million. But at the time of the lawsuit, the value was around $180 million. It looks like Trendon Shavers probably won't have any issues paying his fines and reparations. With a promise of 7% per week gains in trading, you might be wondering what Shavers' trading returns really were. Well, a snippet of the court file reads, Specifically, Shavers transferred about 150,649 Bitcoin to an account in Shavers' name at Mt. Gox, the Shavers Mt. Gox account. In connection with his trading on Mt. Gox, Shavers lost the dollar equivalent of about $434,000 and misappropriated at least the dollar equivalent of about $147,000 of Bitcoin for his own personal use. So on top of being a fraud, Shavers is a pretty terrible trader as well. Number 1. Mt. Gox, 850,000 Bitcoins The last heist on our list is so well known, the
the term goxed became a common phrase to describe users losing their funds on an exchange. In 2013 to 2014, the Japan-based exchange Mt. Gox was the number one Bitcoin exchange and handled nearly 70% of all Bitcoin trades in the world. That is until February 2014, when Mt. Gox suspended trading, shut down its website, and filed for bankruptcy protection. The company announced that approximately 850,000 Bitcoins belonging to customers and the company were missing. Official statements claim that since 2011, the Mt. Gox hot wallets had been slowly drained until the discovery in 2014 without anyone taking notice. At the time of the shutdown, the missing Bitcoin was valued at $450 million, and at the all-time high, the market cap value would have been an impressive $17 billion. Being the undisputed leader in Bitcoin exchanges, the effects of such a massive loss shook the entire industry. The price immediately plummeted and users who had lost fortunes were protesting with signs outside of the Mt. Gox headquarters. It is described as the day that could have killed Bitcoin. After the hack, the CEO of Mt. Gox, Mark Carpelles, was arrested and released multiple times in Tokyo. But in 2019, Mark was found not guilty to embezzlement charges. He was, however, given a four-month probation for record tampering. According to the Tokyo District Court, how Mark ran Mt. Gox was a total mess, and he tampered with records to hide the fact it was missing a lot of Bitcoin. But he didn't do it for personal gain or had ill intentions. In 2017, there was another arrest made by the U.S. authorities in Greece regarding Mt. Gox. Alexander Vinnick, a 35-year-old IT specialist, was arrested for allegedly laundering 530,000 bitcoins stolen from Mt. Gox. But the story does not end here. After the hack, Kerpeles discovered 200,000 bitcoins in an old wallet which he claims to have forgotten from years earlier. These coins would be tied up for years while the lawsuits and trials were ongoing. All the while, the values of the coins were rising. By the end of 2017, the 200,000 bitcoins were worth $4.4 billion, nearly 10 times the amount Mt. Gox had lost in the first place. The trustee in charge of overseeing the 200,000 remaining bitcoin began selling to pay back the losses of the victims of Mt. Gox. With such a large amount of coins, it is suspected by many that the sudden sell-off may have played a large part in the 2018 bear market when Bitcoin went from $20,000 per coin down to $4,000. We may still be seeing the effects of the biggest Bitcoin hack in history six years after it took place. And that wraps up our top five list of the largest Bitcoin heists in history. All of the Bitcoins on this list were stolen from third-party custodians, services that held Bitcoins on users' behalf. This is one of the many reasons why it is so important to use a secure, non-custodial wallet that gives you complete control over your coins, like the wallets we provide at Bitcoin.com. Our mobile, desktop, and paper wallets are secure and completely free to use. If you want to learn more about them, visit wallet.bitcoin.com. If you are new to cryptocurrencies and want to know how to earn Bitcoin cash, watch our previous video where we list the best ways to get you some BCH. See you in the next video.